How's it going, everybody? My name is Austin, and I'm with House Hat Bowling, Strike Zone Pro Shop in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I'm also a staffer with Storm Products, and I'm here to show you guys my Optimum Idol by Rotogrip. I am really excited for this one. For anyone who doesn't know me, the OG Idol was one of my favorites, and still is, bowling balls of all time. Honestly, it's probably my top three under the High Road from Storm and the Black Corruption Pro from Columbia 300. The Idol is a special one in my heart for various reasons. I have had a lot of high sets with it over the years, and I just had a 531 at the turn last week, and I only say at the turn because I finished it off with a juicy 188. And yes, I'm still a little upset with myself for that one, but anyway, gotta let it go. Lots of big sets over the years, and I'm pretty sure every tournament I've won in my adult career has been with an idol, except maybe a couple that I can really think of, but a lot have been with the idol. And if not, I've had a lot of really close calls with it. It's also one of the few balls that I have bought multiples of. Once I saw the Optimum Idol was being released, I knew right away this was going to be a must-have for me. With an RG of 2.47 and a differential of 056, this told me this was going to be a pretty continuous ball, and still having the Microtrax solid cover from the OG Idol told me this was going to be a really strong ball out of the box, and I probably needed to bring the surface up a little bit just to help match the core numbers. With this also having the AI core tech, which is also why the core numbers have changed from the original one. And normally I would say, why would you mess with an already winning formula? But I've also loved every ball with AI tech in it, so I can live with it. And honestly, this ball does react a little different from the OG idols. The overall shape is similar, but this one feels much cleaner than the old one. And sure, I do have a weaker layout on this one with the five and a half by five by two to less. But even seeing others going down the lane and working a local matchmaker over the weekend, I saw a bunch going down the lane, and honestly, everyone kind of had the same opinions I did. It was much cleaner and much more responsive, which is fine because I can just use surface on this ball and get it back close to what my old idols did. And I did decide to compare it to the Rotogrip Tour Dynamics just to show more versatility that the Rotogrip line has at the moment and to show you how you can use both of these as complements to each other. With enough surface on either one, you can start with one and then switch to the other one, and then you can go from the other one if it has high enough surface. But honestly, for me, being rev dominant, I really like the Tour Dynamics, but there's times where there's not enough core or flare out of the ball to make it move and make the corners the way I want to, so that's kind of where the optimum will play in. I am really happy to have the idol back in the lineup, and I'm hoping this one stays around for a while. Thank you.